I mean, obviously the first lady's not elected. There's no written, uh, you know, organization chart that shows what her job is, or the first gentleman, if there's going to be one. Um, but on the other hand, what I think, and this is after studying first ladies and knowing some of them very well, like my own mother-in-law, or one that I admired very much, a fellow Texan lady, Bird Johnson, is that we benefit, our country benefits, by whatever our First Lady's interests are. And that in many cases, I've said this before, you probably heard it, the First Lady's records are better than the President's because they don't have to deal with every single issue. And they have the opportunity to focus on just a few uh, things. And in most cases, throughout our history, it's been what they were already interested in, what their field already was, what their expertise already was, and uh, they've been able to magnify that across our country and in recent years, because our world has gotten so small across the world. And I think that's uh, what First Ladies do, and I really believe also that the American people want uh, the First Ladies to do whatever they want to, that they don't think the First Ladies have to do something specific.